Friday, 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 Can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Guys, please let me know if you can hear me or see me. There we go. That way we don't uh, get started too early. It's too late. Squeak, 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 squeak. It's Friday. Anthony Chavez, what's up, bud? Natalie Dixon Black, how you doing? Chris Tanner. Danny Tanner's. Yep. Danny Tanner's, Tanner's cousin. Cousin. Hey, Corey, good night. What's up? Diamond Dave says, What's up, Jody? Diamond Dave. Gavin Davis. Diamond Dave. <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's Friday, Friday. Got a kick kitchen on Friday, Friday. Y'all can't see me. I'm doing the cabbage patch. Get out of here, Olivia. <laughs> I, I was doing the cabbage patch, everybody. Take my word for it, and it looked great. Where are you guys watching from today? I see. South Carolina, I got some North Carolina, Iowa. Got any Louisiana out there? You got Louisiana in the house? All right, I got some. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this meat on because I got my matador heating up. We're doing a little bit of ground beef for some, for a little taco bar for everybody here today. Everybody's working their butts off, getting orders out, taking orders, getting ready for Rec Tech Academy. Trying to get everybody fed today really quick. This is about three to four pounds. We're really working with about three to four pounds of everything. So we got some whole chickens almost done. Those were about three to four pounds a piece. I got a couple of butts that are uh, uh, three to four pounds a piece. Uh, and this is gonna be about three to four pounds of meat, ground beef, ground chuck. I prefer 80-20. It's gonna be some great taco meat. Got it on the Matador, our wok gas cooker here. 199 at rectechgrills.com. I'm seasoning up this taco meat with some taco seasoning. Our Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub available at rectechgrills.com. This has got everything that taco seasoning has in it, guys. So if you want to throw in some extra cumin and some extra chili powder in there to kind of make it taste just a little bit more like taco meat, you can. Uh, but we're starting off with this on the Matador today. I've also got some boudin from Ronnie's Boudin in Louisiana. Shout out, he sent us a, an awesome care package. Brad DuPont, shout out. You got a, a bunch of Louisiana on right now. Woo! Hi. So let's throw, we're gonna do this hot and fast. On the trailblazer. On our grill grates. Boudin is awesome. It's already smoked boudin. So we're throwing this on here. We're doing this hot and fast. You can do it just like hot dogs, sausage, just like you would do that, guys. Steaks, hamburgers, chicken bread, chicken breast, pork chops. All of that stuff can be done hot and fast. Anytime you do anything hot and fast, me, I prefer above 500 degrees. That way that grill grate gets real good and hot. Close that. I'm gonna toss a little bit of this beef so it cooks evenly. Mix up some of that dirty grill. I'm actually gonna give us a little more flame on that. We're working with about medium flame. Right now, we were working on a low flame. Cool. So we're gonna let that brown. Show you guys what we've been working with all day. Got RT700 bowl here, full. I've got, like I said, three whole chickens that were about three to four pounds a piece. At 325 degrees, these took two hours. Two, two hours. 325 degrees, about two hours to get to 165. Uh, our pork butts were about three to four pounds. They're boneless. These took about three, about three, three and a half hours at 325, okay guys? So I gave you time and tempo, both of these. Both of these are already done. Um, I'm about to turn this grill off. We'll let it cool down a little bit. 
We're gonna shred these chickens for our chicken, for our uh, tacos and stuff like that. And then we're also gonna pull, I might slice some of this pork, but we're probably gonna, just gonna pull this pork uh, for um, some of those tacos as well, so. Check back here. Toss our meat in the matador. But yeah, today we've got tacos going, beef, chicken, and pork tacos. Want to kind of pre-celebrate Cinco de Mayo before it hits us. We will be at uh, Rec Tech Academy, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a Cinco de Mayo recipe. And then the crawfish are going out of season here pretty soon. So I also wanted you guys to uh, show you guys how to do a crawfish boil as well. We're also going to do some shrimp for our tacos on the matador. Uh, once this meat is done But what we got here guys if y'all watched last week Ray bought a gigantic pot So we're just reusing this gigantic pot again. We're gonna do some crawfish boil We got live crawfish from Louisiana shout out to uh, New York butcher shop in Surrey Center here in Augusta, Georgia for getting those to us very fresh uh, very quick When you get fresh crawfish guys, you want to make sure that a you wash them off really really well and then B, uh, you kind of blanch them. Um, you, you, you know, you want to wash them off really, really well. And then your second wash, you want to pour a bunch of salt in there. What that does is it kind of upsets that little guy's stomach and he releases all of that other mud uh, that he has ate. So that mud can actually be harmful to you. It can actually make you sick. So that is a very, very important thing. Uh, if you're getting any kind of law, uh, live crawfish or anything like that, uh, make sure you let them and uh, get all that extra mud out of them and wash them really, really well, okay? Uh, Matt has gotten us our pot ready. We have four. Now, let me stop right here. Everybody in Louisiana, please do not be mad at me. Please do not be mad at me. But we could not find the liquid craw uh, crab boil. So please forgive me. Those of you who don't know, if you're actually going to do a real live crawfish boil, you have to use uh, crab boil liquid. It's like an oil. Um, but we, unfortunately, I uh, searched all day yesterday in Augusta, Georgia for it, and I could not find it. So we had to stick to the alternative and use these crab boil packs. We got about four or five of these bad boys in here. Matt, you also threw some Dirty Girl seasoning in here, as well as a bunch of salt. Uh, and he got the water ready. Uh, you want it to taste like the sea. Correct, Matt? Am I right? You want it to taste really, really salty? Because that's what's going to give your potatoes, your corn, your sausage, and of course, uh, those awesome, awesome crawfish good flavor, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys. Now, see here in the south, we tend to use a strainer in our pot. Kevin, yeah, bring it up with you, buddy. What's that? We got a crawfish farm owner on, and someone is going to bring us some crab oil on Thursday. Woo -woo. Yeah, crab oil! So, you guys are wondering, if you haven't seen these already, why I have these beautiful pantyhose. Well, I just wanted to show you guys how they looked on me, get your opinion. Um, no, that's not what we're doing with these pantyhose. We're actually gonna stuff these pantyhose with our um, corn, sausage, potatoes, and onions, as well as garlic, okay? That way it's kinda uh, easier for us to separate that stuff, and uh, it keeps it um, together. Also, there's probably some Cajun secret to why we're using pantyhose today. Me, no, I do not normally use pantyhose, but uh, we we actually spoke with a Cajun crawfish expert yesterday on the phone, and they said that the crab boil as well as the pantyhose uh, are very, very important to, to a traditional Louisiana crab boil. So we want to stick with tradition. Um, so, you know, they've always had this around it. You know, fr I think the, the, the French brought these over. I don't know. I'm lying. So let's check this meat. Cheryl Ann Bear, is she on there, man? Yes, I'm so proud of y'all. Awesome. So why do you use pantyhose, Cheryl Ann? And Kevin from South Louisiana likes his with mushrooms, sausage. I like a, about a half, a half the lemon. Is what I like to throw in there. Yeah, we got some lemons as well we're going to throw in there too. So that's working really, really well. I'm gonna actually hit it with some more of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary seasoning. 
Is that kind of like taco seasoning? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. It is almost exactly like taco seasoning. Uh, you just need to add a little bit more chili powder and a little bit more cumin, and you've pretty much got some, some killer taco seasoning. You guys can see that I'm not using any kind of exact measurements. Um, just trying to give this a little bit of flavor. And we'll cook this down, we'll strain this, and then it'll be some killer taco meat. Like I said, it's about three to four pounds, 80-20, it's got some good fat in it, gives it good flavor, good beefy flavor. I like ground chuck, it's my favorite. There's also people out there that like ground ribeyes, ground sirloin, and stuff like that. You can, you can do that, guys. You can totally do that. Um, totally works. So let's check on our boudin. looks and smells delicious. So right now we'll go ahead and stuff some of these pantyhose for you guys, show you what we do. We've got our potatoes, got our onions, our garlic, We've got our corn. I've got three types of corn here, white, yellow, and then white and yellow mix. So you can see there the three different types of corn we got in there. I thought that was pretty cool to get some different types of corn. Rosie Panconi. Rosie, we're waiting on you. Robert Rocha says the Matador rocks. You rock, Robert. So <laughs> I'm just gonna start putting some stuff in this bad boy. So we'll do, we got four of them. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Don't laugh at me, everybody. Look at that, check that out. <laughs> Everybody's like, what is he doing? This is the official Way, Louisiana crawfish boil away, everybody. Now, just I'm just stuffing one for you guys. <laughs> Got any Casey, questions? Casey Boltinghouse says, "Nice sack, man." <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that neat looking? Kind of weird, but cool. I'm also going to put some garlic in there. Everything tastes better with garlic. Guys, where are you guys watching from? Uh, if you have a quick second, if you know of anybody that would love to know how to make some tacos, some craw a crawfish boil or some boudin, please hit the share button for us. It really helps us out. Harlem, Georgia. Harlem. <laughs> no bulldog. Arizona. California. Cali. Dino Dan checking in from Cali. I know. Carolina, Arizona, true dat on garlic. Nice. Says Pat, Patty Lynn Abier. Patty Lynn! Sally King. Hey, Aunt Sue. Minnesota, Nebraska. Shout Colorado. out to uh, Rick Bishop on his boy Baker Mayfield for being the number one pick in the nation. Boomer. Boomer! Albuquerque. New Mexico. Shout Nebraska. out. Alaska. Nebraska. Alaska. Nebraska. Nebraska. Oh, okay. What, pray tell, is Boudin? Southside Chicago. Dulac, oh. Louisiana, checking in. Texas. Matt, explain Boudin for me, buddy. My uh, Cajun. Cajun. It's buddy. a pork sausage. Pork rice. sausage with rice. Seasoning. You said pork sausage with rice? Yep. That's it. That's right. You don't, uh, traditionally, you don't eat the skin of it. You kind of just peel the skin off and eat the internals. Squeeze it out like toothpaste. That's right. A lot of Cajuns use it as toothpaste when they wake up in the morning. <laughs> That's why they're always so happy, and chipper, and bright. So, and I'm sure Patty Lynn's 
and uh, Cheryl and Ann are sitting there laughing at me because my panties got in a wad. But yes, my panties are getting in a wad, everyone. All right, so that looks like a good satchel to me. Hopefully it looks good to all of my Cajunites out there. I'm gonna tie it. I don't know if you're supposed to tie it or not. So, here goes one of our sacks for our crawfish boil. We're going to fill up about four, uh, three more of these guys. We're cooking for about 30, 45 minutes until uh, everything's kind of tender. And then we're gonna throw in our live crawfish. Uh, our beef is almost done. Our boudin is close to being done. And then we've already got our chicken and our pork already ready already. We'll go ahead and shut this bad boy off. Let it cool down. That way we'll be able to pull this chicken for our chicken tacos. We'll be able to uh, pull the pork for pork tacos. After this beef is done, I'm gonna throw this shrimp on here with a little bit of butter. Um, and we're going to saute it. And then uh, we will stuff these sacks and do our crawfish boil. Uh, it is Fun Day Friday. My name is Jody Flanagan. I'm your Rec Tech Grills expert. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let, let's get some hearts. Please throw us some hearts and some wow faces. We really, really appreciate it. We really, really need it. Uh, hit that share button if you can, guys. Um, if you know anybody that wants to learn how to do a crawfish boil, boudin, uh, some tacos, or you just want your friends and family to learn about our grills, please hit the share button for us. Uh, we also have Rec Tech Academy coming up May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th that we have been gearing up the past three to four months for. Uh, so we're really excited to have you guys in here. Uh, but the next time, you know, we'll be doing a giveaway later on. So make sure you hit that share button because that may be it. You may have to hit the share button to be entered in. Go ahead and hit that share button now. We'll be giving stuff away. Uh, we'll be back in, what, about 45 minutes. We'll show uh, us dumping the crawfish in. Um, and then uh, everything else should be done, guys. It's Fun Day Friday. I'm Jody Flanagan. Thank you so much for joining us here in Augusta, Georgia. See you at the Rec Tank. Butter for the water boil going in too. Shout out Brave Friend and everybody working right now at Brave Friend. Appreciate y'all. Enjoy the feed. We'll see y'all in a bit. Friday, Friday. Gonna suck your head on Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday. Look at these crawfish Friday. Hey there, guys. Hey there, little guy. Hey there, little guy. Let me get in here. Oh, hey there, guys. Hey there, guys. Shout out, Icer Cooler. Yum, said Donovan Hardy. He wants to eat these little guys. Ooh. Afternoon, Donovan. What's up, Josh Jacobs? You guys out there eat crawfish? Mud bugs? Y'all saw them? Crayfish, crawfish, or mud bugs? That's the question. That's a good question. Crayfish, crawfish, or mud bugs? So what's Y'all a crayfish, a crawfish, or a mud bug? Jody's got his panties in a wad. Hey, guys. Got my panties in a wad as normal. All right. Those of you just now joining us, we are doing an awesome crawfish boil. These crawfish are going out of season and shrimp are in season. Hey, Mr. Pa. Looks like a lot of mud bugs. Oh, we ain't got no mud bugs in this uh, yet, my friend. These are all of our internal ingredients. Now, if we were here in Georgia, we would just cook all of this stuff together. But since we wanted to do an official Louisiana crab boil, we have stuffed these stockings full of other ingredients. You guys can check out Facebook stories and Instagram stories for behind the scene footage of us getting this prepared already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dave. Love you. Mean it. All right, Facebook, Instagram stories. You guys check that out. There's behind the scene footage. You gotta check it out. You also, make sure you share these videos because we'll be giving something away at the end of the day and sharing might be a part of it. You never know, okay? All right, so what we did was, um, 
We got this pot to a roy a roaring boil. Roaring boil. Okay? We stuffed our pantyhose uh, with sausage, corn, potatoes, and onions and garlic. Okay? We let it sit in here about 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. We took it out. All of this stuff is done. We're gonna let this get to a roaring boil and we'll get our crawfish in there. Let's go check these guys out. Now again, these are, hey, everybody raise your hands. So these are uh, fresh crawfish. Uh, they did come uh, from the bayou. And uh, we don't have any tools or anything to get these guys out of here. And everybody said that I can't, uh, I can't use a tool. So we're gonna. We'll these... see Jody grab these things by hand. Yeah, let's, so if we get a bunch of hearts, and wow faces. Jody will wrangle some mud. I will bugs. stick my hand into this death pit. <laughs> Is there a bunch of hearts and wow faces? They're Hopefully coming. Not. They're Hopefully coming. Not. You guys want <laughs> Yeah, dump the cooler. Duh. Of course. Yeah, I know, but that's just not how we live life, man. Um, he really wants to stick his hand in here, guys. I really just want to. <laughs> <laughs> Sing to them, Jody. Yeah, Friday, Friday. I'm gonna stick my hand in crawfish on Friday. All right, so you know you gotta live the rec tech lifestyle, and you know if you're gonna be stupid, you gotta be tough. So. Brain um, <laughs> This is not cool at all. Do ah! it, man. Do it, man. Yeah! Ah! Don't move it. Go! Ow! 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 Ah, shut up, Olivia. Ow! <laughs> all right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Ah! Use your beard. Fuck. <laughs> 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 ah, crawfish, crawfish. Ow, ow. God, how are they getting me every time I touch them? God. Ah! Ah! How do they know I'm here? I don't get it. God, it's just like they just clamp down just because they can. It's not fun. Ew. All right. <laughs> Shoot! No. Jesus Christ. Ow! Ah! Ah, you fall. All right, you guys saw it. I did it. Everybody said I couldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I did it. Um, oh, look at this guy. He is scrappy. Look at that guy. He, he is pissed. Don't be such a wuss. They say. Hey! Hey! You ain't the one sticking your hand to a death trap. Everybody raise your hands. Or what? But no, these guys are raising their hands. So. Ow! Ow! That's a shitty idea! Ow! I held in front of the camera and it got me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Check out this, uh, this little guy's got a claw. With my finger? On the end of his claw. He's got a double claw going. You look it up against Ooh. Oh, double claw action. I like mutations. All right. All right. Here, hold that. Hold that for me. All right. So we're still waiting on a roaring boil. We're very close. That was uh, that was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Rachel's having the best day at work today. They saved their tomahawk chopping. Oh, thank you, everybody. You guys know that I love the Braves. Yeah, go Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. This one is, man. But these things are beautiful, guys. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at the color. Ow. Um, on them. Ah! They are very strong still. Very alive. Where did alive. we get them from? We got these locally uh, from the New York Butcher Shop. And he, uh, my boy Jack, has a connect uh, that he gets them from. So, yeah, if you're in the local Augusta area and you're looking for live crawfish, um, oh. Jack uh, at the New York Butcher Shop in Surrey Center is going to be uh, your best bet to get these live things. Don't mind us. I, and I love Cody, there's a giant one behind you. <laughs> oh, I get it. Here you go. This is Leonard. I remember him because he's got the deformed claw. 
Yep. Matt, we're not roaring just yet. Um, sorry, everybody. We're waiting for the roaring boil. Um, but I figured I would entertain you while we waited. Um, and I don't think, you know, you want to eat these guys when they're dead. Ooh, that one. That little guy was pissed. Um, you don't want to eat these after they're dead. You want to make sure they're, they're fresh and moving and raw. <laughs> and I can just... Ah! Ooh. Ooh, you almost got me. And they are they have figured out where they're at now and they know <laughs> how to get out of here. He's to escape. So. Mm -hmm. so all right. What? Uh, so yeah. So we're gonna put some lemons, three half lemons in here, right? We've already put a couple of sticks of butter. I wanna put another stick of butter in. Because I'm a maniac and I want my arteries clogged. And I'll have butter with my seafood. Now, um, you guys with shellfish allergies, uh, we have somebody with a shellfish allergy here, and he said that he can actually eat crawfish. So I guess it's not really considered a shellfish if people with shellfish allergies can eat them. Um, but I'm not, it's a crustacean, I guess, instead of a uh, shellfish. So. Yep, we just want to thank these little guys for their uh, <laughs> sacrifice. Uh, and their delicious taste. This guy, golly. This guy right here, I'm telling you, you don't wanna mess, you, this is the guy you don't wanna see uh, in the creek, you know, when you had a couple of beers and you ain't got no socks on. This guy, you ain't, you're not really worried about this guy because he's not moving. These things are heavy for him, but this guy, he's <laughs> the one you gotta look out for, okay? The big ones are much easier to handle. Jude Savoy watching. That's a Cajun name. He's so little. He is, and he's feisty. So. Little man syndrome. That's right. Napoleon complex. So. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna dump these, Matt. Uh, we don't have a roaring boil, but. It looks good. Looks good. Sweet. Let's go ahead and dump this bad boy in there. Rachel, can I get a... Yeah. This will be for my uh, family uh, album. Ready? Oh! 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 Suicide. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, they're making sacrifices, so... All right, boys. Go Tigers. Ah! Oh, yeah. That, and that's a very humane way of killing them. Uh, they do die immediately with the roaring boil. So you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, you know, yeah, we hurt them. No, they, they immediately die and they're turning a beautiful, beautiful red right now. What is, it's Funday Friday, it's crawfish boy. We got this big old pot left over from 420. <laughs> April 20th, last Friday. Ray joined us. He made a gigantic thing of hash, and it was amazing. I've still got some frozen. I can't wait to unfreeze it. Ray, that's hands down. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to the people out there. Hands down the best hash slash Brunswick stew I've ever had in my life. I'm a Brunswick stew connoisseur. If I see it on the menu, if you got a restaurant out there and I see it, I'm going to order it regardless. Um, and I'm going to order it with the meal, so I'm also going to order two things, but... Um, it was hands down one of the best uh, Brunswick stew slash hashes I've ever had in my life. And we're going to let these guys sit in here for 15 minutes. <clears throat> we're going to cut the heat off. And we're going to let them sit in there for 15 more minutes. Okay? And then we'll pour them into a strainer. Uh, we'll pour everything together. Uh, we'll put it on a table. And we'll plate it up for you guys and show you what this Fun Day Friday was all about. If... Uh, if you have a family member that wanted to know how to make crawfish or a low country boil or anything like that, please hit the share button. Please, please, please. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please follow us on Instagram. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And coming up for Rectech Academy, 
We're gonna be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff on Instagram. So if you haven't followed us on Instagram and you're curious about Rec Tech Academy, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th in Evans, Georgia, please follow us on Instagram because there's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Also, Snapchat, we're really gonna be focusing on a lot of behind the scenes action on Snapchat as well. So all the millennials that you're seeing now, they're actually gonna be maintaining that Snapchat during um, <clears throat> Rec Tech Academy. So please follow us on that as well. Uh, also, uh, hit us with those hearts. Hit us with that uh, the wow faces. And please share this video. It really, really does help us out. So if you're friends and family, if you have anybody out there that wants to learn about the grills and or learn about cooking and awesome recipes, make sure um, you share this and say, hey guys, follow Rec Tech Grills. Um, also, hit your notifications. That way you know when we're going live and when we're giving stuff away. We'll be giving stuff away on the next video when we've got all of this stuff plated up and looking good for you. Again, 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 please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all social medias. We've got an awesome YouTube page where you can check out awesome videos. Um, but remember, guys, uh, it's all about the grills. It's all about the grills. So if you have any questions about the grills, uh, anything like that, call us up here. 706-922-0890 is our number. We're always available to you. You'll never have to hit one for English, and you'll never have to hit two for a real person. A robot will not answer. It's going to be a real person. Um, but uh, once again, thank you guys so much for joining us for this Sunday Friday. We'll be back in about uh, 20 to 30 minutes to show you guys uh, the finished product of our crawfish boil. We've also got some awesome tacos plated up for you. We'll show you guys uh, how we did that as well. Um, it is absolutely delicious. Just to give you guys a real quick rundown of time and temps. I cooked the whole chickens. They were about three to four pounds. I cooked them at 325 degrees and they took exactly two hours, exactly two hours to reach 165 degrees, okay? I also cooked those two small three to four pound pork butts uh, at 325 degrees as well. Those took three, about three, three and a half hours, okay? So about a pound an hour on those as well. Um, I did cook them on the bowl. We did use that Y pellet, Wi Fi technology. I was doing paperwork early this morning. I was able to monitor my cook uh, from my phone, from the Rec Tech Grills app. So uh, you don't even have to be a grill owner to, to get the app. You can download it, it's free. Go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and please download the Rec Tech Grills app. Just search for REC space TEC Grills uh, and our app will pop right up. Just hit the download button. That'll give you an awesome, awesome reference. It has awesome recipes. You can shop from there as well. The app even will graph your cook for you. You can mon We've got two probes that come standard on the grill. You can monitor those probes, your whole cook, and it graphs it for you. You can actually take, take a screenshot of that graph and have it forever. You can chronalize and keep your cooks um, in, an, in an online database if you want to of your own. We don't have one just yet, shout out. Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, come back in about 15 to 30-ish minutes, and we'll have a bunch of stuff plated up, and we'll give some stuff away. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. See you at the Rec Tech. And we got you, Jude. We'll keep a close eye on it, man. See you on a bit. Friday, Friday. Well, you get down the fiddle and you get down the boat Kick off shoes and throw it on the floor And dance by the river to the early light Breezy on a Saturday night Okay, three, though. Yeah. Two, yeah. Ay! Yeah, yeah, c'est bon, c'est bon! Yeah. Dodie, can you do a Cajun accent? Ay! C'est bon, c'est bon! <laughs> I remember watching, um, uh, God, what's that? The Cajun chef. Justin? Justin Wilson. My stepdad, DJ, shout out, DJ Williams, uh, would turn on Justin Wilson on PBS. Did you remember watching Justin mm -hmm. Wilson? I. <laughs> Is that what he used to say? Yeah. He was, what you yes. doing? What else he used to say, too. Um, but yeah, Justin Wilson, rest in peace. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. That's where I learned how to cook crawfish. And he also told me he also taught me how to cook uh, Hispanic food as well, Justin Wilson. He was a great Hispanic cooker. For those of you who don't know. You can eat some of that. What up, Dino Dan? Ben Lowe's watching. Ben Lowe.
Share a bit live. I am right now. Charlene is so proud of you. <laughs> that was our whole uh, job today, Charlene, was to make you proud. I'm about to suck these heads for you too, lady. Yeah. We got a few people out there. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Put it in the comments section where you're from so I know that you can hear me. Please, please, please. This is the giveaway section of our Fun Day Friday. You guys want to see me get demolished by these guys? Absolutely pinched to death. Go to video number two. Go to video number two. I got a couple of scratches. They actually cut through the plastic gloves that I was wearing. So they they weren't no joke today, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody out there, Olivia, in Instagram land? Okay, great. Anybody commenting, saying anything? Let's see some hearts and some wow Donovan faces. Donovan Hardy saw the Cajun chef you're talking about. Oh, Donovan Hardy. Justin yeah. Wilson, man, he's a... Uh, if you haven't had the joy of seeing him on television, on PBS, on a Saturday morning, just after Bob Ross, Fading Trees, you know, Google Justin Wilson and you'll thank me. He always wore like a little a bowler tie or something, didn't he? Or... He always had some kind of red mm -hmm. on something. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, I don't think what they're called. Are they yeah. hearing me? Are they seeing me, Matt? Yeah. I'm right. checking in for Washington, Washington. To New York to New York. Nebraska, Cajun country. Cajun country. Eastern Oregon. Jeff Ackerman is crying three times in a row. <laughs> what? Come on, Jeff. And Justin Wilson was from Texas. Wow. Ooh, didn't know that. I, but I remember he used to drink a bunch of wine, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love wine. All right, guys, it was Fun Day Friday today. We had an incredible time. We had tacos times four, chicken, beef, pork, shrimp. Did the shrimp on the matador. Freaking awesome. Buy yourself a matador, $1.99. It's 100 and fifty dollars less than the competition. Come standard with the adapter hose. Come standard with the windscreen. Come standard two carry bags. Shipping is included. It's a no-brainer. You got to buy it. One ninety-nine. Rectechgirls.com. Awesome gas wok cooker. We also cooked the beef on there. Can't touch it. Uh, we also cooked on the bowl the RT seven hundred using that Y pellet Wi-Fi controller. The Smart Grill technology. We cooked three whole chickens, 325 degrees. It took exactly two hours, exactly two hours to get to 165 degrees. We cooked two small pork butts. They were three to four pounds, just like the chickens. Those took about three, three and a half hours, about a pound an hour on those at 325 degrees. So that's your time and temp, everybody. Time and temp, I just went over it. The crawfish, we did. We boiled in some pantyhose, all of our ingredients, the corn, the what, what kind of sausage was this? Andouille sausage. The three types of corn, the onions, the garlic, the potatoes. We did that for about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. We pulled them out. We waited for a roaring boil. Then we dumped in our fresh crawfish from Louisiana. Shout out to the New York Butcher Shop for hooking us up with these guys right here. Uh, we let them boil for 15 minutes. We cut the pot off. We let them sit in there for another 15 minutes, and they're perfect. You want to make sure that their tails curl up. If their tail did not curl up and it comes out straight, that means they were dead before they were cooked and you do not want to eat that animal, okay? So just make sure when you eat these, the tails are curled. Okay, everybody? We also wash these and blanch these in some salt so that they will throw up a little bit of that mud and then dispose of a little bit of that mud out the other end. Um, you just want to make sure that you do that just to make it safe because they do eat dirt, they do eat mud, they live in the dirt. They're dirt daubers, mud puppies, whatever you want to call them. So we did, uh, like I said, potatoes, andouille, corn, onions, and uh, whole garlic cloves. We also put in uh, three whole lemons at, uh, when we threw in um, the crawfish. So we're going to put a little bit of that goodness on there. And first and foremost, I got to do... 
the crawfish first. So if you do not know how to eat a crawfish, if you would like to show your friends and family how to eat a crawfish, please hit the share button right now because we're about to go through it. So hit the share button right now and I'm going to show you the perfect, precise, exact way to eat a crawfish. There is there is meat in here, guys, just like a lobster, but you don't want to mess with that. You really or truly don't. It's a lot of work. Hey, I got a joke for you. How's a crawfish like a woman? How's a crawfish like a woman? A whole lot of work for just a little tail. Huh? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there again, there's not much meat uh, in these claws, so don't, don't waste your time. What you want to do is you want to separate the head from the tail. Okay? I like to do a side-to-side -side motion like this. Okay? You want to make sure that you suck the head because it's got all the awesome flavoring. Mmm. And juices and mud. Mmm. Mmm. Just delicious. It's also going to have some of that, that poop. <laughs> but that's why we're eating them, baby. Do I have some of this poop on the side of my face? I feel like I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. No, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> crawfish exploded so here here's what you uh what you yield from the tail right there that's what you yield that's what you're looking for ladies and gentlemen crawfish etouffee and, and fried crawfish and all that stuff that's pretty much what you're eating just the tail meat incredible delicious it's got a little texture to it it's got a little sand in there that's a good thing mm. but yeah that dirty girl seasoning is incredible is, it, it, it does a really good job of seasoning that water. We also threw in some Old Bay and a bunch of other salt. You want to make it really, really salty. That way you get a good flavor out of it. Incredible. These mud puppies are awesome. The corn, whole corn, we cut up in thirds. And you can see there's a red chili flake right there. It's definitely got some spice to it. Be careful, that andouille sausage does have some spice to it. It is very, very spicy. Me, I'm prone to get heartburn, so I don't tend to eat the spicy stuff, so I'm gonna leave the andouille sausage alone. Let's go over here to these little tacos. Rachel made us an awesome taco plate. The shrimps got devoured, so we can't show you a shrimp taco. But Rachel made us a little pork taco. We got pork, a little cilantro, some shredded onions, and um, some sour cream. We got some peach habanero mango salsa with some chicken and some fresh vegetables that we cooked on the matador. Then we've got a beef and that sprinkle uh, queso fresca cheese, Hispanic queso fresca cheese, some cilantro on here. Rachel did an awesome job of making these little guys. These look incredible. I like using these little tacos. Um, these little, um, these little guys, these little uh, street, soft shells. Street. Like street tacos. So they, these are, you can eat a lot of these. So that's why I like them. Mm. It goes great with that crawfish. I'm telling you. Mm. Mm. And that beef. Again, guys, just a reminder that Dirty Girl has a lot of the seasonings that you would get with your normal taco seasoning. So don't be afraid to use that. Mm. And with tacos, don't be afraid of over seasoning. You know, it's good to go. Then we have uh, some boudin. Shout out to our folks in Louisiana. We cooked uh, some boudin today. Ronnie's boudin supplied us with this. And this stuff is just awesome. This has also got some spice to it. This is smoked boudin. We cooked this hot and fast on the Rectech Trailblazer with the grill grates at about 500 degrees. The grill set at 500. The grill grates were about at six. You want to get that rice and that meat mixture out of there. You want to discard that uh, casing, though. Says all those Louisianians. Uh, Olivia said she's been eating the casing. <laughs> Funny. But I guess it's edible. Yeah, as long as it gets crunchy. Yeah. If, if you grill it, but if you were to steam it in a pan. Oh, I'm sure it would be real chewy. It's rubbery. Yeah. So. But, guys, with these crawfish, you want to make sure you throw them in, um, in a roaring boil. 
That way they cook very, very fast. They, they won't be chewy and they won't fall apart and the shells will cook, you know, the, the meat will separate from the shell a lot easier uh, if that pot is boiling, okay? And then also, of course, it's humane and it kills the animal very, very quickly. So, um, but we want to remind you, Rex Tech Academy, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. It is coming up. We're excited. We're fired up about it. We've had the news outlets coming in here. We've had the radio stations coming in here. They're, they're doing advertisements for us without even paying for it. It's nuts. Augusta is on fire about this. There's a lot of people fired up about it. Um, we're excited about Rodney Atkins coming in. We're excited about the Cinco Party. I'm excited about the free food and drinks that Ray's given us all for coming, so that's what I'm fired up about. There's going to be giveaways. How many grills are we giving away, Matt? 20-something. It's like 20, 20 grills, 16 plus. I know of 16. Um, and you know how Ray is. He's a spur-of-the-moment kind of guy, so there's no telling. It's probably going to be upwards of 20 to 30 grills that we're going to be giving away. So if, if you bought a ticket, you are definitely, definitely, definitely going to get your money's worth. If you haven't bought a ticket yet, there is still time. If you live in Augusta, just come up to the gate on Thursday, and we are over here at 2004 Westside Drive, our worldwide headquarters, and we will issue a ticket. Uh, you can pay for it, and you will be uh, and you will be uh, available for all of the events: free ticket to Rodney Atkins, free admission to the Cinco Party, free food, free drinks, hanging out with Ray, me, Stevie, Chef Greg, Carlo Casanova, Ernest Cervantes. Matt Barber, unfortunately, has had some medical issues, so uh, Killer Bees Barbecue, Mr. Jim Berg, is going to help us out. Thank you so much, Mr. Jim. He hates it when I say Mr. Jim, but my grandmother beat it into me. Thank you so much, uh, Jim Berg. He's actually competing in Atlanta at the Atlanta Speedway this weekend. Uh, shout out to uh, Patrick Banks with Booty Cube, who's also going to be there representing Rec Tech, uh, and all the other... Um, Peggy Grimes, uh, who's also going on a steak cook-off this weekend with her trailblazer, so good luck, Peggy. Um, guys, we just want to thank you for everything that you've done for us. We appreciate everything, uh, all of the, the letters that I get. You guys send me a lot of thank you notes. You guys send me a lot of emails. I get packages all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just to give you a recap, okay, the tacos, we did pork, beef, chicken, and shrimp. The shrimp and beef we both cooked on the matador, hot and fast. The chicken and pork, I cooked in the RT700, 325 degrees. Um, the chicken and pork were both about three to four pounds a piece, okay? The chicken took exactly two hours at 325 degrees. Uh, the pork butts took about three, three and a half hours at 325 degrees, okay? So time and temp right there. Crawfish, they take about 15 minutes at a roaring boil and 15 minutes after you uh, cut off that boil. So about 30 minutes in the pot. Um, the uh, corn, sausage, Potatoes and onions, those are about 30 to 45 minutes uh, in boiling water as well. Um, the boudin is hot and fast on the trailblazer with the grill grates. Again, um, 500 plus, hot and fast. Everything tasted amazing today. Um, again, we're fired up about Rec Tech Academy. Uh, now, we're going to announce the giveaway. We have been doing the share contests here lately and we feel like they've been doing really really well we really appreciate you guys sharing everything so again Monday morning Olivia is gonna come in from a hard weekend of drinking and debauchery and she's going to pick from the shares of all three videos video one video two and video three of fun day Friday me I prefer you to share video two because it's got me battling it out with 10 pounds of crawfish and then practically winning um, but uh, but we'll be giving away a accessory prize pack. Uh, there's going to be tongs in it. There's going to be skewers in it. There's going to be grill gloves in it. We're also going to have, there's going to be a thermometer in this package. So it's going to be an accessory package that we give away. Okay? Um, again, you have to share one of the three videos that we made today on Friday. I would go ahead and share them all. That way you know that you were entered in positively 100%, okay? Uh, again, remember, Rec Tech Academy, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. We are still selling tickets. We are very close to being on that cusp. But if you come by, we'll let you in. Rodney Atkins is going to be on Friday at uh, doors. Gates open at 6 p.m. at the Columbia County Amphitheater. We are fired up about that. Thank you so much, Rodney. Thank you so much, Rose Falcon, his beautiful wife, who's going to open up for him. Um, what else we got, man? We got anything else? 
Shout out, uh, Brave Shout out Brave Friend for giving us all this awesome new apparel, uh, awesome patches. These hats are only available at RecTech Academy, guys. RecTech Academy. So if you're coming to Academy, uh, bring your credit cards and bring your cash. That's really all you're going to need for any, because uh, we're going to have a full retail setup, a 40 by 40 tent. Again, RecTech Academy, we're going to have a dining tent. We're going to have a bar tent. We're going to have an education area. There's going to be a lounge area. There's going to be retail. There's going to be uh, luxury bathrooms. There's going to be free food, free drinks. Budweiser's going to be out there. Smithfield's going to be out there. Dirty Girl's going to be out there. Um, Lane's Barbecue's going to be out there and going to give us like a, um, a seasoning uh, tutorial. So, you know, if you guys wanted to make your own seasonings, Lane's is going to be there to teach you that. Smithfield is going to do a pit, awesome, cool pig puzzle. So they're going to actually butcher a whole pig and show you guys exactly how to do that. That's going to be cool. Again, make sure you watch the Facebook stories and Instagram stories as well to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And Snapchat, we're starting to utilize Snapchat a lot more. Uh, all of the millennials are the ones that are holding the cameras, so they're going to be manning the Snapchat. So make sure you follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of those outlets. We're doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, Monday, I mean, for me, I've been in Academy, <clears throat> Academy mode for about a month now, but Monday is going to be Academy mode. So make sure you follow us on social media. Set your uh, notifications because we'll be, we'll be doing giveaways and fun stuff uh, as well while people are learning uh, and you know you guys will be able to meet all of the attendees as well uh, but we really 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 appreciate you guys joining us for fun day friday it means the world to me but it would also mean the world to me for you to take out your phone right now and hit that share button that way you'll be entered in to uh, for our uh, accessory giveaway i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull up my facebook hopefully nothing crazy pops up But I'm going to give you, oh, there it is right there. I've got my notifications set, and I'm just going to hit that share button. Boom. Done. Shared. So you guys share that, and that will enter you in uh, for the accessory giveaway, okay? Um, Matt, you got anything? Uh, yeah. What's Stay you? tuned. Uh, next Friday, during Fun Day Friday, Joe's going to do dad chat. We're going to do dad chat. We're going to be uh, chatting up dad style. Mm -hmm. um, live from Academy. Live from Academy. Yeah. We'll be chilling. Looking dad. Grilling. Grilling dad style. We'll have white New Balances on. We'll have white New Balances on and jean shorts. <laughs> so if you see a guy with white New Balances on and jean shorts, make sure you say hello to me. Isn't this weather great? Isn't this weather amazing? Somebody needs to cut this grass. <laughs> I wish it was me. I love cutting the grass. <laughs> Man. Matt, Matt may be talking funny. Matt may be talking funny uh, in a yet. couple of days, but we don't know yet. Uh, shout out uh, to Rick Bishop, your boy, uh, Baker Mayfield, number one. Shout out to the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. having. Hey, how many, uh, how many uh, number one picks had three in the uh, first draft? So shout out to the University of Georgia. Sonny Michelle. Uh, Isaiah Wynn. Isaiah Wynn. Yeah. And then All right, Ro Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith with a three that got picked in the first round. Two of them to the Patriots. And for those of you in the Augusta area, uh, just one more thing before we go. I will be at the J.D. Paw Memorial Ride tomorrow morning at Wild Wing Cafe. I believe they want me set up by 930, so I'll be there by 930, set up. They'll be giving away a Rectech RT680. They're going to give away a $100,000 motorcycle. I'm going to buy a raffle ticket for it. This thing is bad to the bone. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give them a little bit of money. Shout out uh, to the J.D. Paw Memorial, uh, Michael Cardenas and his beautiful wife. We really appreciate it. But if you guys want to hang out with me tomorrow morning and uh, support a good cause, I'll see you tomorrow morning at Wild Wing Cafe on Washington Road. Olivia, what's the address? 3035. 3035 Washington Road, Augusta, Georgia. Shout out to Doc and Tracy Scholler. Uh, shout out to Daniel, Will Scholler, uh, the head managers there. Love you guys. Uh, shout out to the J.D. Paw Memorial. Uh, we always back the blue. We always back the blue. We always back the blue. Uh, thank you guys so much. It's fun day Friday. We were here in Augusta, Georgia, the worldwide headquarters for RecTech Grills. I'm your expert. I'll see you next week at RecTech Academy.